From a completeness perspective, I suppose it's appropriate to talk about the create account aspect of beginning to interact with Kumu. From the landing page, you can either type in your email and say sign up for a 14 day free trial or you can click on register. Either one will end up taking you to the same place where you go ahead and provide your name and you can select whatever you want for a username and password as long as the username is not already used. If it has been, it'll let you know and you can pick something else. But once you go ahead and fill this in and click register, Kumu will send you an email and which you need to respond to. It's just trying to validate that, that you are who you say you are and, and Kumu can in fact communicate with you. So once you validate the email, then you can come back here and you can log in. And once you log in, depending upon whether, well, you initially end up with, with a personal account. On the top of the screen, this gets you back to the Kumu landing page. Explore is the same as the, the community page that I described in the previous video. Docs is an access to the help documentation, which is extremely marvelous, extremely deep. Um, not deep in terms of complicated, there's just a lot there. And help simply takes you to the screen saying that if you actually need help that you can't, for something you can't find in the documentation, send an email to support at kumu.io. There is also a Slack group that you can request access to. Um, simply send an email to support at kumu.io and tell them that you'd like access to the the Kumu Slack group. So once you've actually logged in, I already did this, didn't I? You end up on this page, and, and this is you and your personal account. This drop down shows you what other accounts you have access to, and the logout option. The dashboard shows you the projects that you have created or edited the newest one at the top and it may also show you other projects that you have access to so if you look at this this is one created by systems thinking world which is me and it's public and it was updated 24 minutes ago this is an, another project from the Ellen MacArthur Foundation which is public and it was updated six hours ago but these are the things that I have access to um, this is research and resources from Christina Bowen. Um, so those projects that other people have given you access to, as opposed to you simply being able to look at them because they're private, if you can edit them, they will show up in this list. The other organizations that you're interacting with also show up in this list. And then a list of those discussions in which you have made comments recently. So, and that is also most recent at the top, going down the list to, to the oldest. And you'll understand this better when we talk about the ability to create discussions within projects within Kumu. The settings page is where you can go ahead and update your profile additional information beyond your name and email address, and also um, provide an avatar if you want one. You can change your plan, change your password. You can change your username, though it's a risky, if you've created projects, changing your new username is risky because any links to those projects that other people have are will be broken because your username is part of the project URL. You can convert to, uh, if you want to convert to an organizational account, you have to not be involved in any other organizations. And if you really need to delete your account, you can send an email to, to support at kumu.io. So those are the options in settings. And then you can click here to create a new project, which I'll cover in the next video. So this video is part of the, the Kumu Overview series. 
Um, and there's a link to this series in the notes section of the video. And I'll see you in another video shortly. Bye.